All right, so I've gone through installation in Windows. How do we do installation in Mac? Well, I've neglected this because I haven't been using Mac up until now, but now I'm going to use Mac. So here's a program. What's it doing? It's giving a warning, but that's fine. Um, we can just go ahead and run it and we'll get an error. It says here, um, note load library not found for SDL2. Okay, so there's a number of ways to solve this. And I've looked online and some of them don't quite work for me. So here's what I'll do to solve the problem. Um, I'll get the SDL framework. So if we just open up Google and we search for something like SDL2 framework. wonder if it's here under releases. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so see we have this DMG file. This is the one that we want. We'll just click there, download it. See, I've already downloaded it previously. That's fine. And then just head over to downloads, double click, of course, to extract it and it's extracted here and mounted. We can see it mounted there on the side. Just drag this over, it pastes it. We can now close and eject that. And then what we do is grab this folder, Command C to copy it, then go to, I think Macintosh, yes, and then library. And then in here there's framework. So you can see I've already pasted it in here. But if we hadn't, we would just paste that folder there. And that includes it as a framework. So then what we can do is we can go to the cargo toml file and we can just head over here and let's go, let's change this from dependencies SDL2 to just yeah, dependencies.sdl2 because I want to really zero in on SDL2 and um, give a whole bunch of options here. So first of all, I'll specify that we'll just use whatever version is available. And then use Mac framework. Okay, so save that and then go and run it and it's still not working. Now that can be very confusing because what, what what more are we meant to do? Hey, at least we've got a meaningful error. See here, load framework not found. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, I mean, that's a fair question. What more are we meant to do? So I had a look online and I found this solution. Seems to work. I don't 100% understand the mechanism behind it, but if it works, it works. So I'm gonna create in the root directory, so the same um, directory as the cargo.toml, this build Rust file. And in this build Rust file, I'm going to, it's gonna be very simple. I'm just gonna run this macro. And what this is doing is it's specifying an additional option for the, well, the compiler. And that is to look inside the library frameworks directory, because that's what we did. We pasted our framework file into there. So now we can go back to the cargo and specify to run that script. So we'll say build equals build dot rs. So now we'll just head back and run this. And it is in fact working and it's doing what I expect it to do. So, I mean, I haven't been using Mac until recently for this Rust stuff, but I just got onto that and found it very frustrating. So hopefully if you're running a Mac, this will work for you as well, getting SDL2 started. All right.
See you soon. Bye.